These are my Tommy Bahama High Boy Beach Chairs. The arm adjuster is easy to use and it won't pinch you. Features a zipper storage case and a drink holder. I discovered one problem with my chairs. Let me show you how I fixed it to make these beach chairs better. Hi, I'm Dave and this is the Carve Tools Channel. I want to share with you how I made these really nice Tommy Bahama beach chairs even better. Let's get started. Let me show you the problem. Flip the chair on its side. And here are two small wood screws connecting the armrest to the swivel bracket. I removed them with a Phillips screwdriver or you can use a square driver bit. Either one will work. These two small wood screws have stripped out the hole in the hardwood. There are three screws underneath the plastic adjuster that are adequate to secure the arm. These two here are not working out so well. To replace these screws, I use these 5mm stainless steel flathead bolts, washers, and lock nuts. Here's Kiki. She is curious as to what's going on today. I put some blue tape on the arm as it may splinter as I drill through the backside. I used two different drill bits. A 1 8 inch bit for the pilot hole. And the tape is in the wrong spot. I drilled the other hole and it really didn't need the tape after all, no splintering. I drill through the top side of the arm with a 3 16th inch drill bit. These are stainless steel flat head 5 mm by 35 bolts and they're going to be too long but that's what I had available to use. You can use a 3 mm L wrench here or I use a driver bit in this case. I drilled the hole smaller than the bolt size for a tight fit. You only get one shot at this. As you can see, these bolts are too long, so just using what I had, I will fix that next. Well, my hand was in the way of the camera as I put on the washers and nuts. Here's an eight millimeter wrench, and I tighten the lock nuts. I used a Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel to make sure that the bolts were not too long and there were no sharp points sticking out. I need six more bolts and I'm going to cut these to length before installing. This is the length I had cut off the other bolts. I run a nut up on the bolts so I can chase the threads once it's cut off. Clamp it in the vise. Cut it with a Dremel tool. Clean up any burrs.
A bolt length of 28 millimeters works for this. If you left the washers off, a 25 millimeter bolt would probably work out just fine. On this chair, these have not stripped out yet, but I will be replacing all of these. Use the 1 8 bit for a pilot hole from the underside. On the top side, I use a 3 16. Insert the bolt and washer. Add washers and lock nuts. I know this looks kind of goofy, just trying to keep my hands out of in front of the camera this time. Using the drill driver and eight millimeter wrench, I tighten these. No burrs and nothing sharp. And I repeat this for all the other arms. Here are my upgraded Tommy Bahama beach chairs and using these armrest bolts, it won't leave you flat on your back. When that happened to me, it was actually kind of funny. These look just fine, and no worries, the stainless steel hardware will not rust. Remove the old wood screws, drill new holes, use some stainless steel bolts, washers, and nuts. Tighten them down, then go enjoy a beautiful day at the beach. If this video was helpful, please subscribe and leave a comment. Hey, I'm Dave, and this is the Carve Tools channel. Have a great day.